How's it going, folks? Let's go. Hey, Quackers, how's it going, buddy? Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. We're going to try and finish this today. I think we can do it. Let's go back to the dashboard. I'm guessing it didn't take into effect. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you for purchasing Echoes of Fallen. Your new content is ready. To access the Echoes of Fallen questline, you must first have unlocked Origin in the World map. As well as completed the side quest where there's a will and priceless bonus items will be available for redemption from the system tab in the main menu upon reaching the main scenario quest a chance encounter okay a new items available for redemption Let's go. Let's uh, do this. I see a green box there. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, why did I see a green box there? What's over there? Please don't start the DLC if it is you. But I do see a green box, and if I see a green box, I have to go and open it, chat. Uh, this could be the DLC. No, I don't want to start the DLC, though. Clive, I wanted to give you something for the kindness you showed my mentor. Okay. What's this? A chest of all the medicines you're ever likely to need. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. I'm sure it will be very helpful indeed. And Taya, try not to work too hard. And work Rodrigue all the harder, you mean? He's a quick study, but he's got a long way to go yet. I'll take that particular piece of advice when you heed it yourself, thank you very much. Besides, who else is going to see that your brother takes his medicine? Who oh, indeed. I do love her accent. I got a medicine chest. What the hell is that? Tired of having to manually adjust icon ability sets each time you want to use different abilities? Did you know you can register up to five sets of iconic abilities via the gear tab? 
I did not. Ah, they added loadouts. Great. Aha! So these are all items that we can display in... If I'm not mistaken. How do you split this? Although I have to say, right chat? I have done everything there is in the game up to this point. Every side quest, every mission, everything I can possibly think of, I've done. Hey buddy. Will you get any chance to do the thing today? Like 45 runs, yeah? Stew's awfully thin these days. It is not thin. But yeah, as I was saying, I've done like quite a lot here, right? But look how many is still available that I haven't collected. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Still 12 items. It is hard to believe fear is gone. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there in the stables, watering the birds or readying the packs, yet he is not. And it is everything I can do not to fall to my knees and weep. Still, I know I have to move on, but that doesn't mean I have to forget. My brother and I built all we have here together. So as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me and I shall honour him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. That part of the story, that side quest, was heart-wrenching. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. It was horrible. And Ben Starr's voice acting at that point was phenomenal. It really was. It was really, really good. All right, to the reverie we go. The Kingdom of Walud. With my buster sword. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close, Torgal. Is it wrong, chat, that I'm such a big Final Fantasy fan? Is it? Is it wrong? Hey, J Gaming, I told you, man, it was happening. That PC launcher was coming. I told you. They're all denying it, but I told you it was happening. I told you it was happening. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Uh, let me just quickly do one real thing real quick. Because apparently there's no notification in Discord. So let's fix that real quick. No, 
And has anyone seen this dude on Twitter? He is like such a toxic piece of crap. His name, I'm not sure, I want to say toxic, that's going too far. But he is so sour about everything. Clifford can't just say anything nice. Literally cannot say anything nice. Everything has to be an argument. Uh... Is that who it is? It just says Cliffo. Everything has to be a struggle with him. An argument. It's uh, it, it's just weird. Notifications on Discord have gone out. So there's, you know, the 40 million gamers having gone live, you know, playing Sea of Thieves. Apparently, 35 million of them or more were free Game Pass users. Good. Snowy. Yes, I, I got the DLC. Over leveled for this area. I don't know, JP. That's actually a good shout. That is the Buster Sword. Cloud's Buster Sword, yes. If you get the DLC, they give you a cosmetic Buster Sword. What I thought was really cheeky is that if you get the DLC as well, you actually get loadouts for these. They locked the loadouts behind uh, a paywall. I thought that was quite. Um, I thought that was quite cheeky. That was really cheeky. But yes, it is the Buster Sword. Uh, no, PlayStation is definitely going to have their own launcher. Hundred percent. Without a shadow of doubt. Do you know why they're going to have their own launcher? JH Cola? Because Steam users will happily use the PlayStation launcher and play PlayStation games. They only have a problem when it comes to Epic and Xbox. And PlayStation wants 100% of the money. If they're going to release their games on PC... Day and date, they want 100% of that revenue, not 70%. And that is smart business. Uh oh. Bloody fallen. Why do 
all their flaws seem to have a mind of their own. Exactly, JP. Guys, come together. Yeah, yeah, come this way. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I guarantee you, Steve, people will go to the PlayStation launcher to play PlayStation games. Guarantee it. They might not like it, and they might be kicking and screaming about it, but they're going to do it. Oh. At the end of the day, they want to play them. And if they want to play them, they're going to do it. And like I said, it's smart business. You're still releasing it on PC, but this way you make maximum profit. But that's if they go with their launcher. I mean, J Gaming, I think they're just testing the waters right now just to get everything set up. That's my assumption. You see, Leaf, I told you it was delayed hardcore. Shiva is dirty. All I'm saying, Shiva is dirty. Uh, Kona, uh, I think both work. I think both work. I think having, you know, a mixture of both is nice. I don't mind turn-based, although I will say turn-based is getting a little stale. Like, if you play Honkai Star Rail, it's, it just feels boring. But if it's done correctly... It can definitely be good. I mean, Final Fantasy lived off that for years, right? Like Final Fantasy X, uh, oh sh god, ADS. Uh, what was it? What was I gonna say? Um, Final Fantasy X uh, did it really well. Thirteen did it really well. They kind of like mixed up the turn-based a little bit, jazzed it up. Grandia 2 did it amazingly well. 
with that active time bar thing that was unique to Grandia too. Um, Grandia Extreme was really good, their turn based. So I think it just depends how they do it. If they go for the old school everyone one turn at a time, I don't think anyone's really going to enjoy it. I think they need to jazz it up a little bit. But I would like to see someone utilize the Grandia Extreme turn based system. That was good. Grandia to an extreme. It depends, Digit. For some reason, the normal rules of engagement don't apply to Sony, right? We've seen that multiple times. It just doesn't apply to them. On the fact that it's been indefinitely delayed? I mean, it makes sense why it was delayed, honestly. Because those mods are not going to work. And it looks like the update, you can't stop either, the HD update, so... It's unfortunate. But that's how the modding world goes, right? That's the risk you run with the modding scene. You win some, you lose some. Leaf, uh, it could be delayed for a year. You are aware of that, right? Not just until the 25th of March. If the mods are broken on the 25th of March, they have to wait until those mods get fixed and then they have to reapply them to their build. This is going to be a big thing. Steam's huge. But like I said, uh, we've seen time and time again that PlayStation's rules of engagement are different. People treat PlayStation different to say Epic Games, Ubisoft Connect and the likes. Ew. Oh, Steve. Steve is going in there after all that wife. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, to be fair, J Gaming, uh, Alan Wake Two made its money. It recovered its development cost, so it didn't fail. Alan Wake Two succeeded. It made its money. Oops, sorry, hit my mic. Alan Wake 2 made us money. I helped him, of course. I bought my game like a good Alan Wake stan. If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The Through top. that door. So I could look down on the world. To be fair, in this day and age, making your money back is more than some companies can ask for, to be fair. Uh, 
2 million subs for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth hasn't even broken even yet. Three sixty P, Jesus. Uh, Rebirth did sell two million. Remake only sold three million after all, and that was cause of COVID. And Remake was on PlayStation Four and Five. He lived. No, no, not you. Bomb, you go away. Need to defeat these bombs. These bombs hurt like anything. Okay, the bombs are down. According to Sarkana MPD, Fun Jose Remake, Rebirth. I mean, yeah, Reload only sold 1 million, but Reload's projection for sales was somewhere in the region of about 700,000 units. So they actually smashed their, uh, their prediction, right? I mean, that one million was ages ago, though, right? It wasn't just now. That was in the first few days. Uh, Digit, that's the problem, right? That's the problem. Um, it... If you're looking at the numbers since the PS2 days, Final Fantasy has been on a decline, despite the fact how big of a franchise it is. In Japan, it you know it started off with like two million sales within the first week, and now it's dropped down to three hundred thousand. That's a huge decline. I think my dude's got indigestion problems. Well, that's new.
to be fair though, Pikmin is a Nintendo game and Nintendo games notoriously will always do better. Except for the Peach game. That one did horrendous. Feel like I'm a little over leveled for this area. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm just a tad over leveled. That creature was a level 36. What was and that I'm thing? I'm a level 45. Anymore. But you know what? It's good, it means I can finish faster. Okay, that sounded wrong. On many levels. But you get what I mean. I am at the end of the game. Well, according to Power Boss, he said I'm 30 minutes away from the end of the game. So, if he lied to me, I'm his liar. Power Boss is the one that told me to continue playing uh, a couple weeks ago because I was at the end and he wanted me to finish it before he accidentally spoiled the ending to me. Although I don't remember it anymore, so that's a good thing, so please no one spoil it. Uh, I started uh, before 8 o'clock, but I've been chatting as well, so... I've probably wasted half of that time just chatting away and being a good social streamer. <laughs> Got like two hours of cutting. <laughs> hey, Steve, don't do that, man. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. Gear 6 is coming and I should get it early. That's all I'm saying. Gear 6 is coming and I should get it early. Oh, Metal Gear Solid had a... MGS4 had what? Wasn't it 10 or 12 hours of cutscenes? No, it was 18 hours, wasn't it? It was 18 hours, I think. minutes of gameplay. Okay. Hey, hey, isn't this the boss we just saw in Tower of Fantasy 4.0? This is just ADS from Final Fantasy 14. The damn shield! There we go. Halfway done.
Oh no. You're really not gonna let me use, are you? You are not charging those cells. It's not a rock. It's an electro infused rock. Oh, shit. Oops, my health. Let's go. You what? Iron Giant, let's go. No. Shiva, do you think? Come on, we can break this one more time. Who has Suicide Squad at number seven? Don't run away. Don't run away. Do the damage, do the damage, do the damage. Let's go. Suicide Squad sold over 1 million copies in February. Well, I mean, everyone thought it was going to be a good game, right? Everyone thought it was going to be a good game. I'm 
Unfortunately, I played the beta. And I didn't enjoy it. There was no refunds for that game. Everyone is still enjoying it. Although I did feel sorry for Redfall. Eight players on Steam. That was harsh. That was harsh. Oh, with Gollum having more players, that that that's cruel, man. That game doesn't deserve that. Almost there. It's a good game. I will stand by that. It's a good game. Now, anyway. Not a launch. Now it's a good game. That is indeed the Buster Sword at E. When do you think we're going to hear anything about uh, Blade? He's here. I can feel him. Well, since you can feel him, I'm going to save my game. Uh, Cola, did you play solo or in a group? That's a really important question, because if you're playing it on your own, the game is hot garbage. But if you're playing it in a group, it's actually a lot of fun. Yeah, the game is rubbish in a group solo. The game is plain bad. Just like Helldivers 2. Solo, that game is garbage. Group play, game is hella fun. It's just one of those games. It's not designed for solo play. I mean, you can play it solo, but it's just not designed for it. It's just not fun. You guys were slacking. I needed to give you something to do. It is indeed a DC, not Marvel. Oh, well, they're going to come back alive. Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Watcha. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. 
Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens, and they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, it so did it. I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Uh, JP, I'm gonna finish it. What madness is this? My worth proven. Correct, JP. Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me. How is that living? What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. Are you talking story-wise, Leaf, or are you talking gameplay-wise?
Oh, this thing is got health. his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. Let's go, Ifri. Finally, we can begin. I'll answer you in a sec, Leaf. for that one you have been shown the path now you must follow it Odin you will not defeat me otherwise we'll see Stagger, stagger.
defeated. You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. Round two. Let's go. Toggle save the day. That's a big sword, though. Damn it. Let's go, bullet time matrix. Just gonna collapse the whole goddamn building. That's a really big sword. his own sword against him. Could it be you've made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for. Completely lost it. Now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it. All right, this should be it.
That's a big Kamehameha, I'll tell you that much. That should break it. Please break it. It did not break it. This dude has too much health. My dude has literally lost it. No cap, no joke. He has officially lost it. He's turned into a disco ball. Hey, this is a good thing I actually over leveled a little bit. Otherwise I'd have been dead long time ago. There. Oh shit. Do you know what? Let's go for it. Break it. Done. 
Oh yeah, you could definitely tell it was his team. Well, the day is at an end. And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. Barnabas slain finally that wasn't a bad fight but I still think the Titan fight was better Titan was a good fight that and uh, Bahamut between the two fights I don't know which one is better but Titan and Bahamut was a really 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 good fight this one felt like a 14 raid boss there was a few mechanics in there it felt like a 14 raid boss. Hey Derek, how's it going? Relinquish nothing. Hey Suffer. What was it? If not will that made you strive for a new world. Strive to win your master's approval. I... You were shown a fantasy. And you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world. But the one we live in. And that world. That world is worth saving. Even if it means killing a god. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable, did I not? <laughs> we shall fulfill our destinies, just as the Lord's Mother Crystals Fill theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. I'll be honest with you, Derek. You and me remember the PS2 way different. At least in the graphics department. At long last, salvation. 
I'm coming home. Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again. There's the last Nova Crystal. Time to go destroy it. I do like him, he's one of my favorite characters. Best men, all of them. My best men. Does it look like I have 
I admit this might not be the most convenient time that my presence in trouble. And I may have already promised him your help. Your nephew, the outlaw. My soldiers have better things to do than die for nothing. And you and he are of the same mind. I fight for the opposite. He fights for a world in which they shouldn't have to live and die for nothing. And, and he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow. Be that as it may, a handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom. Then mayhap they are the wrong men. Well, I'll be damned. Ooh, Bahamut. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. I like him. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, Bunch of do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needing Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Oh, that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Farewell, my prince. You're not serious, Benaya, are you? <sighs> oh yeah, Leaf. Uh, Sandam was getting an anime. It's got a manga as well. Because you do know x exists, right? And that is basically a tree. You also fought a house in 8? And a train in 7? Or was it the other way around? Clive, thank fuck. You alright? I am... But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. <laughs> so, so, so there.
they are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe. You're not wrong, Steve. You are not wrong. Gav, we need to talk. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. Do you think that was wise? <laughs> Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. We'll be here by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Ah. Oh, he didn't consider it killing. Or a mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. <sighs> As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. <sighs> but that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the mother crystals have been leading the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a fruit that he desires, but a fruit and phoenix both, that which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question, unless... There is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. 
A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Hey, Devastator. Yeah, I think Power Boss might have been on drugs. The Power of Darkness. Uh, Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Odin's essence. Attuning with Odin not only changes the element of aspect of Christ's spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Gungnir. A frenetic flurry of attacks that damage all enemies within range. Okay. Odin's iconic feet, Army of Darkness, can be used to temporarily transform Clive's weapon into Odin's legendary blade. Landing attack slowly charges the blade, readying it for Zantetsuken, which is executed by holding square. Zantetsuken's potency is determined by the blade's charge at the time of execution. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. I wouldn't say it's uh <laughs> we got even we've even got side quests appearing. Oh no. Uh, I think he's uh he was gravely mistaken. Cause that mother crystal still needs to be broken. I like how nobody talks about 16. I've, I've enjoyed 16. Uh, what's the time? I'll probably continue for another half an hour and if we're not any closer then we can switch it up a little bit for tonight and continue 16 another night. That's if people want. What does everyone want? Is it half nine? Can't see. Uh, I have not finished it yet, my dude. I got about halfway and then I stopped. The wife didn't want to watch anymore. She was like, I'm not enjoying this. I was like, okay. And then we sat down and watched the uh, fallout. You're guessing. Although I was surprised. I thought you sent me an actual horror movie. Not a Team Fortress movie. Bodies up ahead. Is there no peace for a dying man? What happened here? The ether floods made savage priests of my companions. And those faithless orcs, I knew they weren't to be trusted. We were told that they would stay loyal to our cause. Something commanded their loyalty, but it was not us. Yeah, we'll play till 10 and then switch so up. 
Perhaps they sensed our downfall. The king is gone. Our nation in ruins. <laughs> what becomes of us loyal pawns now? Sworn to a shattered throne. Fuck Wallard. <coughs> Fuck the dead king and his god. <coughs> This withered shithole. He's a bit pissed. The floods do not affect you. You are a bearer, albeit one who's lost his brand. Pray, hear me, brother. Will you grant this pawn his final wish? Will you lay my dying soul to rest? Of course. What do you need? Oh, finally, some luck. Beyond the castle walls, towards stone here, there is a forest. Never turn. My parents are buried upon the bluff, nestled amongst the trees. Theirs was the only love I ever knew. I was torn from them in life, but perhaps... I can return to them in death. Take my ring. See that it rests beside their bones. May you find peace at last. Messed up, man. I'm guessing there has to be something there, right? Don't tell me. The only way to the capital is through that gate, just as you surmise. There's an army down there, Joshua. Yes, but I don't see any dominance. Uh, Leif, if you're still here, story-wise, I would say that Final Fantasy XIV is probably uh, number one. Seven was all right. I preferred eight to seven. Nine I didn't enjoy at all. Fifteen was okay, but it was butchered with the story. So ten would probably be number two for me. Not an unturned soldier in sight. Then we end their suffering. Crystal Town, nice. So you've hit level 50. Yeah. 
Have you actually done the crystal tower yet? I'd say Final Fantasy 2 is the worst Final Fantasy 2 out there. I did enjoy Final Fantasy 1. I think I actually enjoyed 1 more than I enjoyed 2 and 3. 4 was okay. All this is for us. I wouldn't put it past Ultima. He's made nothing easy so far. Ah, you've done the labyrinth for the ancients. That's a lot of uh There's more? Yeah, he is. Please be up. It is not up. Joshua. It is very, very far away from being up. Dealt with. You know what? I should have went to the hideout and replenished my stuff. an Ultron type situation where a robot wants to wipe out? Uh, kind of, yeah. They want to reset. He wants to reset, basically. And he needs uh, a new vessel to help him do that. And you are the vessel. Farewell. No worries, Devastator.
We can rest here if you like. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Don't die on me now. Yeah, I did think we'd be finished with this by now, and I do want to play some Fallout Look, as well. I guess the whole found half an hour was a bit misleading. Fortress. Only a bit, though. My dude wanted me to uh, stay up that night to uh, let's go finish. Is there anything here? No villages, no knights, not even any bodies. That looks like a ton I could almost believe the whole kingdom had turned to Kashek. Let's get that teleport point. Alright, let's go find this spot. There's a co-op there. Is that just a normal co-op? Be safe. Nope, it is not. No, I did not mean to do this. Damn it. Yes, I figured that much out when my kick the damn chocobo. Great. Right. 
and then I accidentally cancelled it. I was not expecting that, but that's another one off the table. Cool whisker didn't give me anything. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. I had an inkling that that thing wasn't gonna be a normal enemy. It was moving. It was too big. I'm gonna guess it's over here with the bombs. It is not with the bombs. be with the bombs it is not with the bombs but where is this tree there we go he'll be able to see all the way to stone here as any man could hope for. Reunited with those he loves at last. Late to rest. Hmm. Clutch mine. Interesting. God, is that another boss? Alright, let's fight this. No, it's just not a boss. It's just an ogre. It is just an ogre, right? Yeah, it's not a boss. Not a boss. The 
Does it bother you that we haven't heard a single human sound? Everything about this place bothers me. Uh, that boy, think of it like the end of the world. Civilization has been turned into monsters. And they've been absorbed by ether. We're pretty much at the point where the concentration of the Akashic is the most uh, prevalent. Before the storm, there's only one way into that city across the bridge through the main gate. Indeed, Brick. Right into the Indeed. midst of whatever is left of the Lake King's army. Are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Teleport. Doesn't look like there's anything new here. Let's head back here for a second. New items are now available at Karen. A new crafting recipe available at the Black Hammer. Nice. It's a dangerous world out there. All right, diamond sword, uh, garbage, platinum sword, garbage. Ah, we've got the clutch mine now. Find a better price than that. Finished, are you? I am indeed finished. What do I owe the honor? Right, so what are you going to make me? Really? <laughs> it's not even a good weapon. Come on. literally a glamour piece still don't know where to get the dark tongue from and I've already got that the stone tongue sorry You kind of craft them. You do these hunts and you get items and then you craft them. So you can't really buy them. Alright, so I've got Agni, Usher of the Underworld, and the Blood Moon. Not too bad, they're only A ranks, so they should be easy enough. I need to use a restroom real quick. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to switch over to Fallout. I know I said I was going to play it. I do want to play some Fallout 3. I thought this would have been finished. Someone, I was told I only had half an hour left. And 
clearly I was led a lie. So I'm going to be back in a couple of minutes and uh, let me know what you guys want me to do. Back in a sec. All right, chat, what are we doing? Pull out? All right. To master this, oh, that's kind of sexy. Who would I get rid of, though? I'd have to get rid of Bahama in order to think Shiva's too good. Don't know if I'm really ready to get rid of Bahama. It really depends how much damage Odin does, and it doesn't look like it does any. Outside of Army of Darkness. I mean, that could do a lot of damage, right? That could totally do a lot of damage. Anyway, let's save. Right, let's place that there.
make some switch up. So I installed like a bunch of mods for Fallout 3. I don't even know if it works. But I'm hoping it does. If it doesn't, there's always Fallout 76. Which I'm enjoying. Alright, let's give this a whirl. Oh, really? This shit is that old. Does this not run in game uh, window mode? All right, let's uh, quit this for a second. And reboot it. It's booting at least, so there's that. Is there a windowed mode? Yeah, there is. But there's no borderless window. What the hell? It's registering my graphics card as a... So, oh right, I had to use that stupid thing. Let's see how it's going to run anyway. Nope, that's not what I want. Well, I did not realize how old this game is. So you can't run it in windowed mode. Alright, it's going to have be full screen. You gotta be kidding me. Why is this causing me untold issues now? That's fine. Uh, that is fine. Why enough is it picking my second monitor to play? Let's try this again. Don't you just love technical issues? Uh, display settings. Okay, Steam, stop doing that. You don't need to do that. All 
Alright, everything looks good. So why are you picking my second monitor to display anything? Which is my vertical monitor. We're going to have to do this in window mode. Not that I'm happy doing it in window mode, but... Okay, so if we go down here now, and we do browser audio source, we go to Fallout 3, and then we go to this, and we have that. That should be good. Sure, why it's so loud? Uh, that should be better now. Is that better? This game does not run in full screen mode on my body. to hear me that should be better then. there must be a mob to make this full screen
was all fine until it got to that point. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue I think that should to another be better. bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war... War never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Well, that's a quick end to the game then. I mean, if no one ever leaves and no one, we all die here. Let's see. Is he a boy or a girl? She's your sex boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. We've got a son, Captain. Beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I think he's it. My son. My beautiful son. I bet now it's too quiet. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about play a name? It's like a movie, right? You sit down and watch something on TV. It's all nice and perfect, and the adverts come on, and it blows your goddamn ears off. It's a great name. What are you talking about? Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Is that it? That I was a boy? And I can be a female? <laughs> nice. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Oh, God.
What is it with that half cut that they kind of love doing? No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, that looks just right, the unsettler. Yeah, the unsettler is good for me. Hair colour. Yeah, I guess I... Chocolate. Yeah, I could deal with chocolate. Platinum. No one wants to be ginger. Yeah, I'll go black. Facial hair. You know it. Nope. Yeah, that kind of works with me. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go with rough beard. And that kind of works. Yeah, blue can be fine. I think that's a good look for me. Be a ginger. Ain't no one being a ginger. I think I look pretty good. Are you sure you want to be this this to be your character? Yes I am. You look a lot like your dad. See that, Captain? Oh, oh, and I'm proud of it, Steve. I know ginger people that don't want to be ginger. So <laughs> Get the baby out of here. Move, move. I mean, it sounds like she's about to orgy. Come on. Hang on, Captain. Hang on. Why does the guy sound like Liam Neeson? We need a doctor, not a dentist. Fail to meet my expectations. Look straight into the light now. James and Jimmy Chatter. May your future be bright and glorious in this place. Oh, My dude sounds like Liam Neeson. Don't look straight into the light, pal. You'll hurt your eyes. It's just something you could use to down here. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. Oh, really? You can make it. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. That's Why awesome. I'm so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. But I know nothing about this game. I just saw the TV series and I thought, you know what? It's time I fixed what I didn't play. And I decided that I would start from free because one and two are old. I mean, they're real old. Look at the your special look. Pick look as a baby. 
S is for strength. That means I am strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. Alright, what's best to start with? You'll want high intelligence, endurance, and strength, and the charisma of at least four for one particular perk that allows you to bypass a pain in the ass quest. The perk is called... I can't read. Child of Hearts, I think you would say that. P is for Perception, so it's screwed up. E is for Endurance. C is for Charisma. Uh, so what do I want to put this? Uh, at least I get that, Steve, but at least tell me where to put my stats in. Like, how should I distribute these? Is that fine? Yeah, but CB, what what should I put my stats in? I've got five points. Do I put it in charisma? Do I put it in intelligence? Or do I just go with that? So you're saying this? This is a good setup? I believe in you, chat. You can tell me. You can tell me! And I am not a ginger. Alright, looks good. Because I'm special, see? I'm special. I still can't go to the door. Quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Dada. My dude is letting me walk on dirty floors, man. These experiments don't they have Nine experiments years later. Damn. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. A date handsome. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Having a good time? It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Now go on. I'm sure. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool.
You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. A date with Christine Kendall. What? He's 10! Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Or everyone else would like a chance to talk to the birthday boy. Enjoying yourself? I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. You did a great job, but couldn't you have helped out a bit more? <laughs> Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. He did not like that response. Attention, everyone. It's time to cut the cake. Andrew, wait. Cut the cake. Yeah, like no one saw that coming. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? It was only yesterday your daddy came. Sticks. What ten year old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Buttheads. Now get lost nice before I have boy. to make you cry. What is that? I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Miss Palmer said I didn't have to share since it's my birthday. Mrs. Palmer said I didn't have to share. Who's talking about sharing, moron? I want the whole thing. You ain't getting it. Are you going to give me that sweet roll, or am I going to have to give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. One of the 3,000 A models? What piece of junk? I could get to wind it up every morning. Daddy, I told Butch, you not to what do you think you're doing? Leave him patients. alone. I know you were How's it going? You alright, son? Chicken shit. <laughs> Chicken shit. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Fun? Hey, how yeah, about being an asshole? This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. 
my Who wants to go around all day being called? What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. He's lucky Goobers stopped the fight before I really hurt him. It was kind of my fault. You know how easy it is to make Butch mad. God, he really is a butthead. Oh well, you can always count on Butch to make an ass of himself. Get it? <laughs> the wolf lord. Sometimes I think you really are as dumb Enjoying as you are. yourself? Are you alright? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? I'm glad to hear it. Once you start letting bullies push you around, you'll never see the end of it. Come on now. I bet there's someone else out there with a present for you. Thanks for coming, Stanley. How do you like that pit boy, son? Fit all right and everything? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Not much, but I hope you like it. How may I serve you? How are you enjoying I the party, Mr. Palmer? Mortified I about the decorations, you know. Simply mortified. Oh, really? Alright, now hold that, dude. I don't... Okay. His puny arm is strong Hello, enough Officer to lift Gomez. that pit I'm hole. glad you could make it. I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? Uh, it was nothing, just boys being boys. He tried to take my present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day he was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Wow, the pit boy really makes you look all grown up. Jones. My dude's about to get a beating. We're all set down all right, Butch. Thanks. I'll send him hey, right down. Officer. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. Yeah, this you is my first time. Picking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Enjoying yourself? Can it? I've had it with you, Butch. Your mother is going to hear about this little incident. Maybe. I'm not going to tolerate any more of your bullying. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. Uh, yeah, my dad and Amta threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Just for you. I hope you like it. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Hi, so my mom. For now, just remember I'm keeping my eye on you. Where am I going? Thank you for coming, Miss Beatrice. I hope you're Go having on. a nice Janice time. Janice is waiting for you downstairs. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. That dear boy is like a son to me. I'm guessing it's down here. Hey, Power Boss. Uh, I have to admit, buddy, your timing for Final Fantasy 16 is way off. You said half an hour. We were two hours in, and that story was still going. Down here, young man. I thought. But how you doing, buddy? Weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm ten years old. <laughs> You sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. All 
Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your pit boy and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Uh... This is my first playthrough, so builds is alien to me. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is great. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. And that may be like a dual wielding magic thing. Good work. That's one less round roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Oh, really, pal? Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. Right? Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? Like, I get any kind of special My bat? I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So, yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Ah... Uh. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it Why won't not? do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there on the outside Yeah, I'm gonna control the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe here. Plus 15 boost. Choose whatever answers you want when you take the goat because you can talk to your teacher and assign your own tags. Alright. 
Your mother, she, she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was I have finished the TV show. About life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she I've became got to close pregnant, this it was it the way cold. I'd ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Look, I got a little niece in for my papa. There's no way I'm going to be anything Good but out. amazing. Good luck. And if anything happens, I know you're going to use your excellent skills and go and save me. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. Okay. I can show you a really tough deal. Come on, Butch. Why don't you just leave me alone? Let's go what into the storeroom, Amada. Go I'll run show and you tell your daddy on us. Tell her, Butch. You think you're special because your daddy is the only Is this a play on Back to the Future? Biff. Daddy's girl, daddy's girl. What's the matter? Daddy's girl gonna cry? <laughs> show it to her, Butch. She's nothing, Butch. You think you're special because your daddy is the only You found a Vault Tech limited edition bubblehead. The inscription on these on the base reads, the smart man knows a bandage only hides its wounds. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? Got this oh yeah, definitely done it a world of good. I did want to try, you know, the original Fallouts, but they just look too old for me, man. You think you're special because your daddy is the overseer? She thinks she's better than us. Get away from me! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. Let's go into the storeroom, Amada. Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? A bunch of idiots, if you ask me. They think they're so tough with their gang. How do I know if the mods are working? All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. I'll show you a good time. Leave me alone! You think you're special because your daddy is the over- Yeah? What do you want? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Speech, 58%. If you keep messing with her, the observer overseer will, is going to come down on your gang. Uh. Let's give the fifty-eight percent a try. Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. It did not work. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Butch, Tell stop her, Butch. it. Leave him alone. Oh. This oh, isn't yeah. solving anything! Hey, Susie, Hit him again! Him. Give him another one! Oh, not much. This isn't Come on, solving I'll anything! On the this again. little bitch isn't worth our You're time. kidding me. Whatever Didn't you say, you just get new parts You're the boss. Last week? Tunnel snakes rule! Yeah, Fine, sure let's go. But the thing is so old, my grandpa had to Don't with mess with the tunnel mind. snakes. Well, I hope it's working again soon for you. Thanks. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? 
Trust me. I was beating the yeah. shit out of him, and he still didn't do anything. It's something everybody has to go through. I'm feeling kind of sick, Mr. B. Guess I'll have to reschedule. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Get out of my face. How was I supposed to know that? Go ahead, take a seat so we can... Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brunch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? You know, pressure by a frenzied vault scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your Photonic resonator chamber. Which is a conductor. Wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of deficient singularity? Yeah, up yours too, buddy. Say so nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head to knock him out for all you knew. He was planning on blowing up the vault. Two, while working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Amputate that foot, man. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? But also appears to be in possession. Confiscate the stolen property, pick the boy's phone. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Hitter, catcher, designated hitter. I'll go with designated Question hitter. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? A vault resident? Obey your elder and kill the resident? Offer your... Ask Grandpa for a minigun instead, after all. <laughs> you don't want to miss. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick lock the door, trade a vault hoodlum, go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, walk away and let the old coot rot. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Nope. Nope. Jesus. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101. How many questions? In possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? The possession of Grognak in the, bar uh, the Barbarian. You want. Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Sneak. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. 
You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Loosen the bolts on the pipes. When the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. Put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. Break into the locked medicine cabinet and replace high... No. Manipulate power wattage in, on his razor. Jesus. Yeah, that probably sounds... Yeah. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. I wonder what the uh, answer is, chat. <laughs> Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. All finished? Here's my paper. Get out of my face. They say the goat never lies. According to this, you're slated to be the next vault chaplain. God help us all. Well, that's what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally coming true. Whatever, I just answered randomly. That can't be right. The stupid has got it all wrong. Closer to reality than you might think. Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously, and look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole test is a joke. If you don't like the results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. All right, what, what's... Three good skills. I ain't getting unarmed. That's just crazy. I don't think the assholes observer. <laughs> uh, I guess barter could be a good skill. Not so much melee. Oh, I see this one is very uh, conflicted. Jeez, everyone's got a different response for this one. But at least speech has appeared for everyone. I guess lockpick could be handy. Good Lord, chat. <laughs> Every single one of you is saying something different. With the only uh, common factor being speech.
Repair allows you to maintain any weapon and apparel in addition. The higher your repair skill, the better the starting condition of any custom made weapons. The science skill represent. Your combined scientific knowledge and is primarily used to hack restricted computer elements. Actually, that could be interesting. Effectiveness of conventional projectile weapons. I insert the ease of disarming any hostile mines. Barter for bartering? Hmm. Well, let's go with... Not repair, but let's go with explosive. Being as that's going to be useful for a quest. And let's go with lockpick. Although I could go with science as well. That will make opening doors easier. Dude, this is one. Why can't we have more than three? You know what? For now, I'm just going to keep this. Explosives, lockpick, and speech. Yes. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on, you've got to wake up. You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. What do you mean my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! <laughs> yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? No, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen, 
There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I didn't even do anything. Why I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there. Crime anymore, Ruth. Get off me. Idiot. Man, I'm getting some half life vibes off this. You gotta help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. No, I can't go back in there. It's it's dark, and there's rad roaches. No, I mean, it's not the dark. It's the rad roaches. I, I can't stand them. I tried to get back in to get her. I really did, but I couldn't. You gotta help me. She's not gonna last much longer in there. Can't you hear her screaming? Oh my god, thank you. I didn't know what to do. You're the best. I'm the best now, huh? How do I get in? There we go. Welcome to Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. VATS displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Right trigger, attack your target. Left stick down, change body parts. Right stick, change targets. B, cancel and attack. A, accept your actions. Okay, you're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. Uh, how do I equip anything? I still don't know how the VAT switch buttons for the VAT system.
inside of your own blood? It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me, Tom. Here we go. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're shooting at me. Health does this guy have? I'll take your jumpsuit. can change the targets and fire at more than one enemy as long as you have action points in the lower right of your screen. Uh, you can assign shots more than one at a time by pressing the trigger again. Alpha Zeta button. Alright. Of armor won't, will do me good. Let's see. Nope. Get the fuck out. Am I even going the right way? If 
Fuck it, I'll take that too. Thank you. I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. Didn't I just shoot her dad? Apply torque with the screwdriver. Uh, rotate the bobby pin. Force lock. Okay. Well, that wasn't good. Wait, the overseer has a computer? How do we use a stim pack? Security dossiers. We have assigned Jonas as James' assistant, who was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor, who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is, Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible resource. Nick is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by vault -Tec, a terraforming module capability of creating life from computer, complete lifelessness. After riding out the storm of nuclear Armageddon in a vault tech patented vault, residents can then activate the GEC and create a new urban paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to the time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a GEC module. You said the dad was in here? You said I ran past the dad.
Oh, well, too late. That's way far back, isn't it? I have nothing else to say to you. God. No. I mean, this is the room where I shot the two guards. Her dad's the overseer, right? So, I guess it didn't say anything to me. Alright, let's get out of here. Requires key, I guess. Anyone can survive out there. It's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Hold it right there. I'm just Ah, oh, you chicken shits. Come back. Come back. Look, 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 look. I'm over here. I'm over here. Uh nah, I'm good. Exit vault water. <sighs> so you guys saying that explosives are useless? And I should go science instead or small guns? You know what? I'm gonna go with this. Do you know what? This don't look bad for a 2008 game.
Let's put some into. I've got 17 points to assign. Uh, I do have. I've got the game of the year edition. Uh, let's put some into small guns. Put some into speech. Put some into barter. Should be good for now. All right, choose a perk. Daddy's boy. Just like dear old dad, you've devoted your time to intellectual pursuits. You gain an additional five points to both the science, to both the science and medicine effects. Uh, additional five points to the small guns and repair skills. A uh, single point into any of your special. You do 10% damage against female opponents. Okay. Uh, you gain 5 points for melee and weapon. 10% of total experience whenever experience points are earned. That's kind of cool. I guess I don't have enough for... Oh, these are high level. Alright, so I'm torn between... Swift Learner and Daddy's Boy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Devastator. Which one, chat? Swift Learner or Daddy's Boy? I know this gives you five points for science and medical skills, which is kind of cool. But this gives you an additional 10% XP bonus. That's kind of like a cool thing, right? I'm guessing the mods are working because this game actually looks pretty decent graphically. Of course, of new radio messages being broadcast across the capital wasteland, the transmission appears to be some sort of distress call and gives little information except the location and name of the man making the plea. The riverboat has docked at the time of the Potomac carrying trade from the distant peninsula of Point Lookout. The captain offers passage to Point Lookout for any mercenary, treasure hunter, or adventurer looking to explore the land. Well, let's save at least once. New radio broadcast has been heard across the capital waste and while completely unintelligible, it sounds ominous. Broken steel has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised to 30. Okay. Good lord. A new radio broadcast has been heard across the capital wasteland. It sounds like a distress call, but seems meant for certain ears only. How do we use the map?
person will have our full faith and confidence to carry our collective values forward into the future. Democracy, dear America. Democracy, now and forever. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait. For soon, this great nation will be reborn, and the Enclave will be its salvation. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing. Okay, so that's my map. It's not a very good map. Asphalt 101. And it doesn't tell me anywhere I'm supposed to go. Okay, well. Okay, can you stop playing? Oh, that's playing. But where am I going? To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a settlement to the north. I have information of great value to anyone willing to help me free my people. Please, help us. This message repeats. To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I can follow the road, I guess. I found large metal structures. I mean, Benaya, I downloaded, well, took a while but I got the I downloaded like the remaster collection mod did I miss the town? Didn't really see a town. What town? Devastate, are you having a laugh? Where was the vault?
America turn this way. Springvale. I miss Springvale. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything in Springvale. Let's follow the track to Megaton and see what's going to happen over there. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Do you know what? For now, I will skip everything. Stay safe on the path you travel. What's the big idea? I guess it's this way. Do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. All right, let's give it to him. You, are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange, you know. I, I can just have it. I can just have it? For free? My, thank you. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Bless you. I'll never forget you. Thank you for your help. I hate to ask, but do you have any more water? No! Oh, please, if you find some, please. Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just you don't even know me. Something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Looking for my father. Middle-aged guy, maybe you've seen him. Way high. Kind of 
has Liam Neeson's voice. Kind of good looking. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. I could use some directions around town. Yeah. I mean, I am a... I am directionally challenged. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? Bar. Sure is. Moriarty's. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. You know what I'm impressed say, about most? Trust the man. Do you know what I'm really impressed about? on this game so far outside of i mean the graphics i'm using a mod so it's gonna look nice that's fine but everything is voiced i mean obviously outside of computer terminals but everything is voiced our clinic is down in the crater by the bomb doc church is a little rough around the edges but the man's got talent and compassion You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. I really she appreciate that. Make some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Craterside Supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help I'm not gonna lie, probably the entire game is voiced by two people, but it's not bad. Skyrim was voiced by like five people. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that over no voices at all. Honestly, Benaya. Sure thing. What's on your mind? What about it? Anything so much a disarmed, I think. I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I don't think I can disarm this bomb, right? Can I disarm this bomb? Can I actually disarm this bomb right now? Listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Early game over. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep at night knowing you all... You could all die under crabs. All right, I'll take a look. Wait. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Now that I'm helping you, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for my dad. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements too spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Bye. 
Mind your manners now. Hey there. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. Uh, what's in the menu? Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. That's not reassuring, buddy. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? Remember us if you need something. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Atom. Let those who dwell here in his favored land... Wait, I can activate the bomb? Why would I want to activate the bomb? That shit's radiated too. He's praying to the bomb, yeah. It's like... I'm not surprised it gives a lot of evil karma. You're activating a bomb. What's up, Rambi? Huh? So someone's playing snooker. They hit they hit the ball and uh it flew off the table at the white ball. Flew off the table and knocked the guy out standing on the opposite side. <laughs> Talk about a great shot. All right, where are we going? Can I? All right, I've got a marker. Moriarty? Every day it's the same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Hey, Smoothskin, you need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all?
I would actually say the first one, but that sounds really rude. Stuff it, goal, and stop looking at me. Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full-on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Near as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. Yeah, fuck you too. Whatever, man. I'm used to being treated like shit around here. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping the fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Yeah, enjoy. Why is it calling me a me. dick? Their signal's been shit lately. A traveler, eh? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well... No, we're gonna need another stream for that, JP. Of this it was way longer than 30 minutes. And makes you a rather valuable individual. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests. And those interests view this town, this megaton as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. No, no, I'm merely a recruiter you get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. From my protection, I'm going to leave now. I'll do it. Nope. You're out of your mind, Burke. There's no way I'm helping you. I know he wants me to blow up the town. I ain't blowing up the town. I just got it. Someone might have valuable information. No, Sims wants me to disarm the bomb, so I'm going to disarm the bomb. It's not under my protection. Sims is an idiot. 
He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. All right, say I decide to help you. What's in it for me? Too many lives are at stake, Burke. I'm going to defuse the bomb. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite hmm, disagreeable. Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, the great <laughs> the, the, the Anthony <laughs> Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Don't let me keep you. Uh, let's let's go find. You making a move, huh? Can I go down? Yeah, I can. God, navigating this place is horrible. This is house? That's Moriarty's saloon. Did I set the map right? So there's no marker there. Alright. All this because I want to be a good guy? It's starting to get annoying. I'm better off just letting the city burn. The only thing I didn't like about this game is the colour scheme. Every environment is poop coloured. Uh... I'm actually surprised that it's, this is supposed to be clear. I applied the mod, but I guess it didn't work. Local coal. <laughs>
What is he in here? You know what? Trying to find where this stupid guy lives is annoying. It keeps bringing me back to Moriarty. Why? I, I set the marker to the guy's house. You know what? Let's just go this way and go back to the moor. Shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf. Yeah. I met a man named back. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. He gave me this fusion pulse charge to rig the bomb. Here, take it. Jesus, give me that thing. Let's go find this Burke character. You're about to get an education in Wasteland Justice. Oh, this should be good. Where the hell did it go? Tamper with that, and we're going to have a problem. Where the fuck did he go? Yeah, but where the hell did the, my dude go? He just disappeared. I ain't my fault the guy just magically poofed out of thin air, is it? Plus, I'm tired. This is not the place. That's men's restroom. It's gotta be here. Gotta be here. Okay, there we go. Explain your traveler, business in Megatar. Eh? I'm sorry. Got something on your Chef, mind? What are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff. I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. 
Why do you knuckle draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. My dude survived all of that. But where did my dude go? Mr. Moriarty. Yeah, Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. What, Here's Sims died? Else. I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Hmm. I mean, he could be lying. <laughs> God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Do you honestly believe that's true? The lies they've put into that head of yours. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mum. Truly. But no matter. That big round door is open now, hasn't it? Daddy's gone, and you need to know why. Could be I know where and why. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella escaped. It is. Five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own Deputy Weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Uh, Alpha, apparently I'm, I installed all the remastered ones. There's like 60 mods in total. But... One of them was for the weather effect to remove that green filter, but it doesn't seem to have removed it at all. So I don't even know if the mods are working. You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information. And information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops. And daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Yeah. 
Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. All right. A ah, little bit of caps for so much information. Think about it. Don't look at me like that. Evening. So he actually died. I guess I can take all this shit now. Was this dude an important dude or not really? Fair enough. Hey, Jericho. Well chat, it's past midnight here and I am actually really tired, can barely see. So I'm going to call the stream there. Um, we still do need to finish 16, so maybe on Friday if there's if it's a slow news day, uh, we'll do some more 16 and Fallout 3. Hopefully we can finish it on Friday. I'd like to finish it at this point. Uh, but tomorrow we're going to be back with our normal... Uh, new stream. Hopefully we've got some news to talk about. There's a bit of stuff, especially with the PS5 Pro and people going crazy over that. Uh, but yeah. I think that's going to be it for me for tonight. Hope you've enjoyed the stream and you've enjoyed the gameplay, even though it is a bit rough. But I will be back tomorrow. Or today for me, tomorrow for you guys. Alright man. Take it easy and have a good night. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. It didn't work. Why isn't it working? It doesn't want me to go. No, it does. Peace out, guys. Have a good night. Mod? Co-op? Maybe. We'll see. It doesn't power. But I am tired. Anyway, have a good night, folks. We'll see you, Devastator. It could work out.